since it is Black History Month, I decided to uh, go with a book that kind of went with our theme or this to celebrate. And um, the book I've chose was called The Other Side, and it is written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by E.B. Lewis. The main character in this book is a little girl named Clover. Uh, she's a little African-American girl, and then there's another little girl that's a Caucasian girl, and they're neighbors, and they live right next to each other. Um, something that happened in this book was that the two young girls were not able to, uh, not necessarily play with each other, but they weren't allowed to go to each other's house. So there was a fence that separated each their yards and they were not allowed to cross over that fence both their mothers had always told them hey don't go over that fence and this reminds me of a similar similar situation that's happened to me because when I was little I had a, another little girl that lived near me she was one year older and I would always want to go to her house and play and she'd always invite me but my mom would you know she didn't want me to go over there so I wouldn't get to go so um, this situation is like Clover and Annie's because their mothers had told them also not to go to the other girl's um, property or across the fence to their house. Um, can you relate to this? Can you guys relate to any this situation? Okay. This story is about two girls of different backgrounds, and they live by each other, and they are, of course, like I said, separated by a fence. Their mothers had told them not to cross, and one time Clover had asked, hey, why can't I cross over the fence? And her mom didn't really say any reason. She just said, well, that's how it's always been. And so they, they didn't have any, they didn't know any other way rather than just don't go over there. But the two little girls wanted to play with each other, but they would always remember that rule. Annie would go over to Clover and her friends and ask if she could play. And Clover's friends would say no. And so that's how it's always been. They just couldn't play with each other. The setting of the story is outside both of their houses near near the fence. They all usually went to the uh, edge of the yard to play. The characters in the story, like I said, are Clover and Annie. Uh, their mothers. Uh, Clover has a friend named Sandra. But she's not really talked about much other than Sandra had told Annie she couldn't play with them. Some events that happened in the, this book was that Annie began to sit on the fence. So she didn't cross, but she sat on it. And that was a, a big changing point in it. My favorite part of the book was when Annie was playing outside in the rain. And she would splash in the puddles. And Clover would watch her outside. And I... Um, like this because it reminded me when I was younger. It reminded me of when I would, it would be raining and I would go outside and play in it and I, I really love to play in the rain. It made me be, feel happy and I was wishing that it would start raining and I could go outside and play. What do you, what do you predict will happen in, uh, next? Do you think they will cross over the fence? Do you think they'll start sitting on the fence together? What do you think? What should Annie and Clover do? What do you think they the girls should do? Should they change what's going on or should they keep it the same and just go along? And how do you think the story will end? Will they end up crossing over the fence? Will they end up staying and playing like they always have? Or will they become friends one day? <laughs>